Hi Philip from TW White & Sons, we're delighted to acquire this beautiful and rarely available Mazda 2 1.5 Sport Nav Plus Automatic finished in machine grey. Cars registers 11th of February 19 on a 68 plate, one owner from new done 14,878 miles. Lovely condition vehicle, couple of little bits to do on it but nothing too serious, a little scuff on the front bumper, bottom of the front bumper. Wheels are in very good order. This car comes with keyless entry, rear privacy glass and parking sensors at the rear. Decent size tailgate which we will be replacing the um, uh, parcel shelf. 60-40 split rear seat system. But overall in great condition. Car will come with 12 months master approved warranty encapsulating 12 months roadside assistance. At TW White & Sons we take any vehicle in part exchange will be as competitive as any of the online companies that advertise on national television those that wish to buy your car. So if you're part exchanging a car you'll be safe in the knowledge that we will be competitive in the marketplace whilst offering you um, the best customer service that we can. This is a great car, um, great spec, as I said, keyless entry, uh, keyless start on this car. It's got this black cloth interior. Electric windows all round with one touch facility on the driver's side, electric door mirrors, which are power folding as well. And sitting inside the car, the first bank of switches we come to are Mazda's stop start i stop technology um, tire pressure monitoring system lane departure warning traction control and headlamp leveling so it's really well spec vehicle these drive incredibly well very popular as well this particular version being the sport nav plus first of them comes with the paddle shift control on the automatic gearbox it gives you a greater sense of driver involvement for those that wish to use it. Just put the car in D and move it up and down the gearbox using the paddle shifts. To be honest, from a personal perspective, I just put the car in drive. They're such fun to drive these in an automatic. It's got sport ratio on the gearbox. Such fun to drive. Excellent road holding, handling and highly responsive both in town and on the motorway it's a delight to use so just taking over a few controls multi-function steering wheel on the left hand side you've got integrated bluetooth with voice control on the right hand side you've got cruise control and beyond that auto wipers with variable speed on the intermittent and rear wash wipe on the outer part of the stalk and auto lights on the inner part of the stalk front and rear fog lamps you can see here 14,878 miles as um, discussed earlier. Tachometer, rev counter left hand side with gear selector indicator you can see. Um, centre is the speedometer, right hand side is the fuel gauge outside temperatures 19 degrees Celsius. Um, 44 miles till we run out of fuel. The fuel light is now on. Well, the good thing about this car is if I press the info button, it will change elements of the display. 44 miles, 1.8 mpg it shows. Well, please don't take that as gospel. We've just started the car and run it around the workshop. That's why it's showing that mpg. Uh, uh, instant readout for mpg there. Uh, Nought miles an hour average speed, but what counts to me is 44 miles left in the tank that will go up or down depending upon how you, how the car is driven so very very um clear instrumentation um ergonomically excellent you've got down here in the center console climate control air conditioning in its simplest and most effective form so how I would operate this is set the temperature, move everything to automatic here, set the temperature say at 18, press AC and that's it. It will direct the air and adjust the fan speed according to internal temperature of the vehicle. If you want to operate it as a manual system, leave it on AC, just take that off the fan there out of auto setting and this into the directional setting as appropriate. 
Um, down beneath here, twin USB socketry, a 12 volt power socket and a CD slot. Auto gearbox here, park reverse, neutral drive. M if you want to use it up and down the box, like so. There's a manual uh, type of arrangement, but you've got these paddle shifts here that you can use in D. Frankly, I've never used them on, on these. I've used them once on a CX-30 and I thought, yeah, great, ter terrific. But um, for a person such as myself, just stick it in drive. It offers outstanding performance. Main navigation wheel there. On the right-hand side, you've got nav button, center home screen, music button left-hand side. The star button refers to setting up favorites through radio stations, phone books, sat nav, destinations, etc. And the funny little arrow button directly opposite that is the back button. Master volume control there. So you've got two places you can adjust the volume. Left hand side of the steering wheel and on this master volume control. Now this here, when it's stationary, if you press it, the car is stationary, it operates um, as a touch screen. So you've got DAB. Again, personally, um, I've never operated it stationary using the touchscreen. It is a great facility to have, but the idea why the touchscreen becomes disabled when you drive off is for safety reasons. The idea is you keep your eyes on the road as opposed to the centre screen. You can, of course, as you're driving along, use the main navigation wheel, which is far easier than putting one's paws all over the screen, um, which is the way I like to use it, just using the main navigation wheel. So, to take you through this, the home screen looks like this. Here's the stereo, which we've been over. You've got DAB, AM, FM. The finer points of the adjustment we'll come to. Uh, applications here. Fuel economy monitor. There it is. Fitted with Mazda's iStop stop start um, uh, technology. So if the engine is iStop ready and you pull up a set of red traffic lights, uh, the engine will cut out. As soon as the lights turn to green and you go to engage D, the engine will um, start again. Obviously, tremendous fuel efficiency, fuel saving and monetary saving benefits um, and excellent for the environment because you're, you're using stop-start technology. Vehicle status monitor, that will be a warning telling us we're low on fuel. We're low on fuel. Maintenance here. Uh, doesn't need a service now for 12 months or 12 and a half thousand miles. Integrated Bluetooth with voice control. Plug your phone in. Actually, you don't. You can Bluetooth your phone to this unit and it will work perfectly well. Satellite navigation. Great system on these cars. Very clear. Um, that's in its nighttime setting. This is in its daytime setting. You can, of course, select have it nighttime the whole time, but it, those settings I'll show you in a minute. But here, destinations, navigate home, find address, town or postcode, find places, favourites, history, where you've been, etc. Very self-expansory. What I like about it is if you want to find out, I never use this on, on SatNav, and I should do, because it's really, really useful. So we're, we're low on fuel, right? So you can find the nearest fuel station. It can take us, you know, highlight which one you want to go to, execute the command, and the sat-nav will help you get there. It's a really terrific uh, benefit, that, of this navigation system, which is immensely clear, very straightforward. Home screen, um, settings here, display we're looking at. Uh, you can adjust it between auto, day and night modes. That's what I was referring to earlier. Brightness, contrast, safety features. Got smart city brake support. Very good for town driving. Lane departure warning system will keep you in the correct lane on a motorway or any road with markers. As soon as you start drifting and putting yourself and passengers at risk, as soon as you start drifting out of the lane, um, it warns you of such. Uh, you can set up the parameters of the timing whether you have a beep or rumble, the volume, the timing of it, and the warning. Really good system. Sound, uh, 
bass treble fader balance, automatic level control, which will adjust the sound to compensate for any road or engine noise. Clock, uh, 12 or 24 hours. You can set up a time zone, particularly useful when traveling to Europe. Vehicle, there's things, here. it's got rain sensing wipers, but there's things here that you can set up like walk away locking, where you walk away from the car with the keys in your pocket and the car will lock automatically. Indicator, you can adjust the volume and whether you choose to have a three flash indicator or not. Lighting, um, you've got interior lights, you can control lights on morning volume, coming home light, leaving home light, the sensitivity of your headlamps on high, medium high, medium, medium low and low. Devices network, Bluetooth management system here, you can read the temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit, the distance in miles or kilometers. Home screen looks like this. Engage reverse. There's your parking sensors with the banding. The closer you get to the object, the, the, that banding gets closer to the vehicle, like so. Really good system. Just as good as a reverse camera, I think. Um, certainly keeps you alert with that beeping. But there we have it. Um, really nice condition. 2019 on a 68 plate Mazda 2 1.5 Sport Nav Plus automatic. Done beautifully low miles. 14,878 miles. Couple of little minor things we've got to do to the bodywork. You probably noticed in my presentation there's a small scuff on the front bumper. We'll get that tended to. There's a scuff on the rear bumper again. We'll get that attended to. Nothing major, very superficial. Um, car will come with 12 months uh, Mazda approved warranty and 12 months um, Mazda roadside assistance. To summarise, climate control, cruise control, auto lights, auto wipers, paddle shift control for the automatic gearbox, um, gear selector indicator, tyre pressure monitoring system, lane departure warning system as well on this car and traction control. It's a great value for money uh, vehicle encapsulating all the features you'd expect uh, from Mazda. It's a quality car, electric power folding door mirrors. There we have it, 2019 on a 68 Mazda 2 1.5 90 PS Sport Nav Plus Auto, 14,878 miles finished in the highly desirable color of machine gray. If you wanna find out more details about this vehicle, please go onto our website, which is www.twwhiteandsons.co.uk. Thanks for watching.